Hello there, friends. Safir here, along with his companions. As you can see, uh, this uh, rather imposing fellow is none other than the wizard Gisargo, our friend and colleague from the College of Winterhold. And, uh, well, he is looking quite badass, isn't he? <laughs> well, we just gave him that uh, helm that we found recently inside that uh, last uh, dungeon that we delved into. The, we believe it was called the Wild Hunt Heavy Helm. And apparently, Zargo has some talent or skill in heavy armor, so it shouldn't be too far for him to use it. And we also gave him the Archmage's robes, or the set that we have with us. Because, uh, well, to be honest, because of our Vansian magic, we will never wear these robes because it's quite useless uh, to us, eh? So it's better we bequeath it to someone who will benefit. And that is our friend Zargo here. We also gave him other equipment which will help him. And of course, uh, this is her loyal house car, Lydia, in her heavy armor. It's, she is also carrying a pretty much that Stonebreaker there. And uh, they have proven their metal here on the battlefield. Unfortunately, we were not able to show you. We did it uh, while uh, we were in between uh, journeys. We defeated the dragon and we slew the giant that uh, made its home here because uh, it was a bounty that we were sent to to fulfill and as well the giant had been murdering Kajits here eh? there was a ruined caravan just uh, near this camp this giant's camp and we have now avenged them, eh? Anyway, for us, as you can see, we are wearing a new helmet. It is uh, actually a helmet which we took from the Dawn Guard, from Fort Dawn Guard. And uh, it's not going to replace our feathered tricorn, not, at least not permanently. But uh, Zephyr has found that it is very snug, eh? It covers uh, most of our head and thus gives us more protection against the cold. So it will be more prudent for us to wear this out in the wilds while we are traveling. But we will keep our uh, more uh, flamboyant hat in, uh, in our pack to use when we perform. Eh? But for now, well... Sapir thinks that uh, we look quite nice, eh? We look quite formidable. Alright, anyway, it's time for us to go. We decided that uh, the nearest place to go is Windhelm, and we haven't been there yet. So we should go there, eh? Yes. Are they following? Yes. Zargo really looks pretty terrifying, eh? <laughs> well, we decided as well that uh, with his cute face and his uh, funny little uh, moustache whiskers, Zargo looks too cute. <laughs> right, look at that. Those are expert level incinerate spells that Zargo is throwing at that bear, eh? That stupid bear. These supposedly docile creatures. That's how it's done. Right. Supposedly docile. These bastards attack on sight. They always want to attack Kajit himself, eh? Anyway, let's go, let's continue. Nothing more to see here, eh? Head for wind helm. Uh oh, another giant. Uh, 
right. We don't have a bounty for this giant, as far as we know. All right. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. <laughs> Walk away right now, and Tajit will not want you again. Well, I uh, can see you're not one to be trifled with. Let this be a warning to you. Right, right. Come on, come on. Finally, we find a thief who has a bit of common sense. I mean, look at us. Look at, look at her. Look at him. Hey. I'm staying out of this. Well, at least you have sense. Because would you attack someone who looks like this, eh? I wouldn't attack someone who looks like me, eh? <laughs> anyway, at this point, we are fairly unstoppable. But still, Kajit shouldn't be too overconfident, eh? Huh. The only thing uh, that really is a threat to us is, uh, well, for starters, cold. Why are there so many giants? Who are? Sargo, be careful, eh? That helmet of yours can give someone a nasty head, but... Anyway, yeah, so that... Oh, look at that. So that is wind helm, eh? Looks like it rivals Dragon's Reach. That must be the palace of the kings. Supposedly the oldest structure, uh, the oldest palace in all of Skyrim, eh? This is where Isgramor, the greatest Nord hero, made his uh, stronghold. Alright. Come on, come on. Hey, silly god. Oh, this lady Akari. Hello, hello there. You should be more careful with your spell casting. Huh. Can I see your wares? Take a look. Dragons and the war have seen All right. Steel great sword of spoliation. Ah, it steals charges, eh? Titan, heavier, bossman, rainforest, countlets, uh, recharge a web shield, shield of Iskrabor. Eh, speak of the devil. Spectral. Alright. Potions. We're always looking for cure disease potions. And uh, do you have uh, Grand Soul Gems? Yes! You will take them, eh? Alright, uh, we spent quite a lot, though we have a ton of gold. We, we, uh, we can afford to sell stuff. Take this. Alright, sell this. Sell that, we will keep that. Sell that. Sell the magical potions. Sell these. Sell those. Sell the skooma. <laughs> Sell this. Pretty much paid back what we spent. Alright, take this. Alright, uh, do we have anything else? Let's sell the gems. We don't use them unless they are... Uh, unless they are flawless gems, we don't really use need them. Alright. Thank you very much. May your road lead you to warm sands. And may yours as well. Alright. And there is Windhelm. 
far as uh, Kajita can tell, we haven't been there yet. Got your back. Yes, you are keeping it warm too, eh? Come on, we haven't been to Windhelm yet. And the city of this size should surely have an uh, inn or a tavern where we can perform, eh? What? Are we sick? Uh, another tail. Oh, we are just... Oh. Yeah, damn bear! <sighs> Bone break fever. Maybe we can find a shrine uh, or something, eh? Huh? We can always take a... Uh, one of our potions of cure disease, but uh, we want to save that in case, uh, well, we are afflicted by some very serious disease like vampirism, you know? Anyway. Hello, Windhelm, eh? Eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm cloaks. Ah, yes. We haven't taken a side. How oh, wonderful. Hey, the Nordic the sense of hospitality, eh? Well, it's to be expected. This is the stronghold of the storm cloaks, and they only care for Nords. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Ah, thank you. Anyway, let's put on our more flamboyant hat. <laughs> and let's take up our gear, eh? so we can show our handsome, trustworthy face. All right there. Eh? There are better places for us to hang out, my friends, eh? Hello? That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Don't worry. Anyway, Kajit is a bard. Perhaps you have heard of us. We are Zephyr from elsewhere. <laughs> you get it? It is a... It, uh, we would like to perform here, if we can. Of course. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Come on, you two. If you want to hang out, hang out at the, in the inn proper, right? Eh? Not that many people, right? Eh? What are you? That is... That is very interesting armor, my friend, eh? Come in here, you two. Eh. Now, here is where you can relax, eh? Alright. Take a load off, you two, eh? And we will perform for these people. Please stay away while you get that spell on you. There. Greetings, friends. This one's name is Zephyr. And we are... Here to perform for you today and to warm your cold hearts. Alright, what will we? Huh. How about a song from our homeland elsewhere, eh?
Thank you. Thank you very much. A important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Ah. Anyway. Ah. Hello. My friend died. Things won't be the same without her. What? Um. Uh, Zafir gives his condolences, eh? Anyway, uh, we have done performing. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Here, this is for you. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Ooh. As of today, Zafir is now an experienced bird. Thank you very much. It seems that we have crossed the threshold, eh? We are no longer a fledgling bard. We are a true minstrel. An experienced performer. And we now command more respect and better prices, eh? <laughs> anyway. Let us rest a bit, and afterwards we can go and explore the city for a bit, eh? Alright. Ah. So this, this is it. This is Windhelm, eh? The home city of Ulfric Stormcloak and the seat of the rebellion. Uh, doesn't seem to be too many Stormcloaks running around. Perhaps they are all in the palace of the kings, eh, over there. Anyway. very cold here, eh? Oh, at least they have a blacksmith. Perhaps we can sell some stuff here, eh? Or we can purchase some stuff at least. Hello, my friend. You're asking for trouble walking around with dangerous magic like that. Don't worry about it. Anyway, Kajit hopes your steel is good, eh? Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in Whiterun. I respect Jorland, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. If that makes any sense. Ha, huh, really? Safir should make it a point to visit Jorland Greymane, eh? That he has the... of the, uh... Of the mind that uh, only companions can go and have uh, things smithed by the Sky Forge. Eh? Anyway, let me see what you have for sale. Eh? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Huh. Alright, then. Eh? Oh, interesting, eh? Oh! Ha ha ha! Yeah, we already have this, anyway. Sea dog boots. Huh. Everybody yeah, ingots. It is fine. Do not have anything to sell, though. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. All right, all right. So this is the marketplace. Yeah. Pretty busting. Butcher. Farming goods. Ah, here, general store. Hello. You really should be more careful with the spells you cast. You are an Altner, aren't you? 
And what are you doing in Windhelm, eh? The seat of the Stormcloak Sendinord cause. Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. Huh. Really? As an Altmer, aren't you treated as badly as the Dunmer? We saw some, uh, Nord uh, hospitality out near the gate today. It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. Yes. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. Ha. Huh. Well, that is, uh, that is quite interesting to hear, eh? You must have really, really good connections. Anyway, can we see what you have for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Yes. Oh. Perhaps we should get this, eh? Huh. Though the upgrade the materials for this are very rare, probably not. Potions. Do you have uh, grand soul gems? We'll take them. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for your custom. And the potecari. Huh. I'll be fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. <coughs> I'll I can <coughs> Just <coughs> as See, usual, well. Have a seat. Kajita no, walked just... into another uh, no. situation. If there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. Hello, I'm so close to the answer. Uh, Kajit couldn't help but overhear that you were arguing about something. Just a man's life work is all. Finally derived the location of the white file, but this dirty busybody won't let me get it. The white file. Uh, what is the white file? Ah, anyway, whatever it is, if you tell us where it is, uh, Kajit could get it for you. We are very good at that. <laughs> you would do that. It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. Uh, for it's a, buried with for its a maker. Considerable Karan, reward, of course. In a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kural Mill was a crafty one. Even in death, you would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach its resting place. <sighs> Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. Oh. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. All right, all right, all right. But, uh, what is this white file, anyway? A legendary bottle. Oh. Forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. Oh. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. Whoa. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. All right. Say no more. 
Kajit will go and recover this white file, eh? So, it's in the Forsaken Cave, eh? Not far from here. Alright. Why are you still standing around? Oh. Go get me the file, you fool! Ah, alright, alright! Wait a minute. Eh. See the old man. You may fine, fine, fine. You alright? Alright! Damn it. Alright. So, this white file is in the Forsaken Game to the west. Whoa! Ah! Ouch! Sorry, that old Altner might just kick the bucket. Unless we are. If we, if we tarry too much. <laughs> ah, shouts are awesome, eh? Shouldn't be too far away. Can be there and in and out with the white file like a flash. Probably Zafir won't even bother with sneaking, eh? <laughs> we'll just steamroll into anyone who gets in our way, eh? Let them try to stop us. We eat Trogger for breakfast, eh? What's that? Oh, keep away from us. <laughs> Alright, there is the cave. Be a fright! Stupid. What the hell? Really, all the wildlife here is crazy. Let's just get the damn file and be out. Alright. That's this. That's... Ooh, blast the air. Very nice. Who are you? Some poor fool with five set teams. Alright, we're in a hurry. Let's get out of our way. Who's You want to die? Ouch. Alright. Shut up. Alright, how about you, eh? You want to fight? So now all of you are dead, stupid beasts. Not smart enough to realize that you stand no chance. Alright. Oh great, skeletons, eh? Skeletons, come on. Just die. 
You are less than nothing. Terminate. I have loot. You are less than nothing. Arms? That is so stupid, eh? Why would you have an urn if there is nothing in it? An urn that has nothing in it is a failure of an urn. What's that? What am I hearing? Some weird breathing, eh? It's another one of the ar armor. You'll take it. Maybe we can improve it and uh, give it some better enchantments, eh? Alright, hey you! <laughs> Do not even need to sneak. These fools are... Oh, you are best at nothing. Well, Kajit has worked hard to be as good as he is. Of course, we are a bit uh, confident. We shouldn't be overconfident. But we also should be quite mindful of our current level of skill. Basically, we can kick the asses of most any enemy that we meet unless they are really, really, really tough. Oh, come on. Has someone been already here? Hey. here come on right, let's not miss any treasure what's this oh. uh, hey 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 <laughs> that is fun eh ah blocking dude do you even block we should uh, practice our blocking skill, huh? That is one of the skills that uh, we need to improve. Of course, this would entail that we stand still instead of moving around. But that is fine. That is okay. Oh, more iron ingots. Hello? All these sounds, eh? We are hearing weird sounds all over the place. Ah! Alright, come on! Come on! Alright! Oh! Whoa! That's okay. Come on. All right. Whoop. You bastards. All right. We can't 
We can't block arrows. At least we are not good enough to do that yet. So we will just have to die, eh? Right away. We're still hearing. Grinding of teeth. Who is that? Where is that dead lord? Elven bow. Very good. <sighs> Alright, let's continue. Hey, you! You're dead! <laughs> Don't get up! Gold ingots. Dang. You're too powerful to be disarmed, eh? That is a strange weapon that you have, eh? It has some kind of frost enchantment, eh? Ah, you take it. Thank you very much. Here we were thinking there was some mage hidden who was pelting us with the uh, arrows or uh, ice bolts but no it was just the death lord and his weird weapon ouch oh come on Don't bother to get up. Anyone here? Alright. Perhaps we should uh, recharge our weapon. It's almost done. Alright. It's a good thing that as a Daedric artifact, we do not need to charge. Merun's Razor. Just as we do not need to charge Dawnbreaker. We should have Lydia go out more and use that sword, eh? We are not a firm believer of uh, Meridia, but uh, she's not a bad Daedra. Could do worse than to promote her uh, brand of goodness. Even if she's like a nagging mother. <laughs> Alright. Anyone here? Hey there. Who's? You... You really don't... Uh, these guys are not affected by... Unrelenting force, eh? Alright. Alright, alright. You are very good. Don't want to let go of your bow, eh? And die holding it. Is that it? 
Alright. We really like our enchantment. The uh, fortune enchantment or uh, what kind is it? We, we forgot what it's called, but it uh, it heals us and replenishes our attributes depending on uh, our luck. Unfortunately, Kajit is proving to be very lucky. <laughs> Here, come on. You cannot be too. Hello? Hey! What's that? What's that supposed to be? You really should use uh, higher level spells, eh? It's quite insulting to be pelted by. Uh, basic frostbite spell at this point in time eh finally we are getting more loot eh alright we should have gotten that perk lightfoot so we can really ignore pressure plates Traps, uh, particularly dark traps, are really not a problem, but uh, they are irritating, you know? Hey, you! Come on! Hey! Hey! Ah. Here you are, wanting you to practice uh, our blocking, and you would throw your stupid frostbite spell in our face that's cold man that is really cold <laughs> All right. hey 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 huh oh come on more hard there what Speak up, one. Alright. Thank you for the lesson. Wow, we are getting a lot of flawless amethysts, huh? They are very useful for enchanting. Particularly because uh, it is for body items. We are nearing the end goal. We can smell that white fire right in front of our face, eh? Hey, come on. Right. Hey, what are you doing? Don't turn your back on us, stupid dogger. Yes, wow. What else? Come on! Alright. Alright. Ouch! Whoa! You need to be alone with your boss, eh? Whoa! Get out of the way! Whoa! Oh, you can reanimate your friends, eh? Tough. We need to heal a bit. Finally, we are getting a bit of a challenge, eh? <laughs> right. 
right. Just die. Alright, it's been fun. Time for you to die. Eh? Alright. Huh. Be your secrets. Mark for death. Now that sounds interesting. <laughs> Mark for death. Speak and let your voice herald doom as an opponent's armor and life force are weakened. Awesome. I did not expect that this coral meal was apparently a, a leech of some sort, eh? Very powerful. Perhaps fitting because he was a famed uh, Nord Tongue or some sort. The White Vial. What? It's cracked. Oh no. <sighs> Something tells uh, this one that uh, this is not going to end well. Eh? Full stock of potions and alchemy regions. Where is your uh, master, eh? We have something for him. He's upstairs. Uh, hello. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Zephyr has brought the file, but uh, it is damaged. This uh, it matches every description of the file that I've found in lore. But if it can't hold liquid, there's no way of knowing. How did you manage to damage it then? This is what I get for not retrieving it myself. All right, like you would have stood a chance against Kural Bill, eh? Do not blame Zephyr. He found it like this, yes? Figures. I doubt you have sufficient knowledge to harm the file, even if you wanted to. Either way, yep. uh, this is the end of it. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> I'm not quite in the mood to entertain guests. I trust you can show yourself out. Here's for your trouble. 
five. Five septips. Fine. Stupid old man. <sighs> I want to thank you for your help. I know my master can be a bit short at times. Yes, indeed. But Zafir was happy to help, eh? Here, you should have this. Even though oh. the file was damaged, I still think your efforts deserve reward. Oh. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to Norelian. I can make his final days a bit less painful. Yeah, all right. Thank you. You have more sense than that silly old man, eh? Well, that certainly did not go as we planned, but then uh, not everything does, eh? Assorted fruits and vegetables, all delicious.